With the first pick of the 2020 MLB draft, the Detroit Tigers select Spencer Torkelson, a third baseman from Arizona State University. The Baltimore Orioles have the next pick. Now, the big news here is that he's being named a third baseman. So he's the first third baseman to go number one overall since Pat Burrell did it out of the University of Miami. Uh, Spencer Torkelson is the number one pick in the 2020 MLB draft. And his family enjoying a moment they'll never forget. Teammates in the room as well. This is a kid that went undrafted out of high school, folks. All he did was rake at Arizona State. In 2018, he posted one of the best offensive seasons by a freshman in NCAA history. He broke Barry Bonds' single-season program record with 25 bombs. Led his conference in homers again as a sophomore. Off to a great start in 2020 before the lockdown. His career numbers are ridiculous, and that's why Harold is over by the skybox ready to break down the number one pick, Harold. Well, Greg, I'm going to tell you why he is the number one pick, and it's more than just is it third or first base. It is really about the power in this guy, what a guy can do at the plate. And then we'll figure out the rest as we dive through this. But here's a great look at Spencer Torkelson. He can turn on a ball inside. He's just continued to mature as a hitter. He can hit the ball the other way. But here's what stood out, and this might be what the Tigers are looking at. You see him run the bases here? He is very athletic. And no, you think about first base, you think about a guy stuck at the bag, except when it comes to Jeff Bagwell. He runs like Bagwell. But I love his pitch recognition. Watch how soon he picks up this ball. Freeze it right there. Look at this foot right here. Look where the ball's at. He's already recognized that's a ball. He puts his foot down. He's already gave up on the pitch. I mean, sits here, reads it, and just says, I don't want that pitch. Spits on it immediately. That is great recognition. He's got tremendous eyes. I didn't check them, but I guarantee you the Tigers did. Now he can take the ball and shoot it the other way as well. These are the things that I think is why he be, has become such a great hitter, and he'll continue to be that way. But Jim Callis, third base, you flirted that idea out there. We'll talk about it here in a second, but I'm curious your thoughts. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I think he is athletic enough to give that a shot. And, you know, third base, I think, is a position you can work at. You know, it's a reaction position. You can get better. Wade Boggs got better. Robin Ventura got better. Ultimately, I don't think it matters a ton, even if he goes back to first, because his, you know, like, like you just broke down, Harold, the power, the hitting ability, the play discipline, it's special. He's the best offensive prospect in the draft, probably since Mark Scherer in 2001. I had longtime scouting director tell me he's the best offensive prospect he's ever scouted. I had other guys telling me they think, you know, as of right now, if Detroit wanted to put him in the lineup, he'd hit in the big leagues right now. A lot of talk, Jonathan. Jim, what do you think? Yeah. Go right ahead, Jonathan. Yeah, I mean, and I think that's why he ends up going 1-1. I don't think he'll go right to the big leagues, but it's not going to take him very long. And I love the idea of, you know, third base or left field. I let him play there first and show that he can't play there. He's taken a lot of ground balls at third. He's played left field. Uh, the bat is going to get him there in a hurry, and the Tigers will just have to figure out where the best place is. They know he can always go back to first base. He's really comfortable there. He's a good defender. But I, I'm looking forward to seeing that advanced bat and that plus power play in Detroit really, really soon.